Well, this week in our Zoo Montana segment, wildlife correspondent Tanner Saul introduces us to an animal that can grow to be over 100 pounds. Let's check it out. Hey, Jeff. Nice to see you again. Ah, oh, always great to see you guys. How's it going over there? Great. Super excited to talk to you. So who are we looking at today? Ah, uh, one of my favorites. And I know a lot of your viewers are going to disagree, but this beauty <laughs> is our Jenkins, our Columbia red tail boa constrictor, one of two that we have here at the zoo. And look at how cool she is. Oh. oh my God, she's awesome. So she's pretty big. How big can these things even get? Yeah, so they're not the biggest of the snakes. You know, obviously okay. she's a good size, don't get me wrong, but she's probably about 10 feet and weighs, I think the last weight on her was about 35 pounds. And that's generally about as big as they get, but nowhere near some of those, you know, big giant, you know, reticulated pythons. It could be 300 plus pounds, uh, but don't get me wrong. She's still a good sized snake that is going to put a lot of fear into a lot of people, unfortunately. That is so awesome. So I was just reading some research and it says, I've always assumed that constriction was suffocating when trying to kill an animal, but I just learned that it's actually cutting off blood flow, making it, them have a cardiac arrest, which is insane. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. It's some great research out there. Yeah, you're exactly right. We always thought that it would suffocate the animal. You squeeze it hard enough, the animal can't breathe, and boom, it's done. But yeah, you're right. What it's doing is, is you're you're having a cardiac arrest uh, due to due to oxygen flow, and it's just it's remarkable. And and I guess when you think about it, you, if you're being squeezed to death by something, you hope that uh, it just ends as quick as it can. So hopefully your heart just says, I'm I'm done. I'm out. I would definitely be hoping that ended pretty quickly. And something pretty cool that I also just learned, and do these guys give live birth, the females? They do, which is really cool. Now, now obviously, as you know, not all snakes do that. A good majority right. of them lay, lay eggs. But yeah, the, uh, the boa constrictor is a uh, live birth animal, which is just an incredible, incredible thing to see. Um, you know, these guys giving birth to all those babies at one time. It's pretty remarkable to see. And hey, I want to mention real quick, as she shows the underside here, Back on this back side, this is kind of a sad case. You might be able to see some pink on the oh, very yeah. bottom of her body, right? Kind of right there. It's kind of hard to see, but she's with us, actually. Yeah, you can see it right there. She's with us. Um, she was an ex-pet, and unfortunately, the person that had her didn't know how to properly care for snakes, put her on a heat pad, and she burned. And so when we wow. got her here, the yeah, good part of her life was actually getting over, over those burns. So I always like to put my PSA in. If you're going to get one of these guys as a pet, do your research. Make sure you can give the animal the best home that you can. Right. She's definitely a great advocate for proper pet care then. That is awesome. With Without a doubt. And of course, you see that tongue sticking out. You know what she's doing, right? She's not being mean to you. No, she's she's just trying to smell, right? She just there said, it is. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Absolutely. And oh, what a beauty. And hey, by the way, she just told me the other day, you know, school's back in session. Her favorite subject, history. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't fail for any last with you, Jeff. That is awesome. <laughs> well, Jeff, it's always super great to see you. And I'm super happy to see the snake. And thanks again for joining us. Always a pleasure, guys. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Now, Russ, you don't look very happy. When the, when the snake came on camera, you kind of, you made a face. Did I make a face? <laughs> That's a funny. Face. You noticed that I didn't even know that I did, but it should, it's probably a pretty good tale about how I feel about snakes. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to get past that joke. Um, <laughs> it was so but, good. <laughs> Was it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. It was fantastic. No, it was. Uh, no, I'm just. I'm not a big. That was really honestly though. That was really cool. Um, I love seeing different variety of snakes like that. But just overall, I'm just not a snake guy. It really was a gorgeous snake, and it's always nice to catch up with Jeff. Exactly. Yeah.